you want more? Do you want more? That's the question. That is the question. Do you want more? Do you want more? Do you want more? We are live. Today's question, do you want more? I am so excited. It is Monday where most people are barely just getting back for the week. Happy Juneteenth. A lot to celebrate today. So this is a spontaneous one. I literally dared myself to be live. It's been a minute, way too long. And so one of my coaches today did a live and she was talking about wanting more, how she's made certain decisions and technically we're doing a little challenge. And so I thought, let me do this challenge for myself. Okay. It's a one woman challenge (laughs) to myself to be able to show up more, do more, declare that I want more and affirm and expect more okay so this is what it's going to be about so i think on a this week the challenge is going to be every day to think about how am i showing up how am i giving more to myself expecting more right because if i'm not affirming more declaring more how should i expect that from anyone else so it start with me like everything else so what do you want more of do you feel the same way are there certain things in life right now where you feel like this could be better. This could be more. And I remember a few weeks or months ago, I said to um, Tracy, who in the wee hour of the night, I was like, I want to wow everything, right? So I can't be doing the same thing like I've always done and expect to even have any wow in my life. And so for me, it's always about the way we do one thing is the way we do everything. Alicia, good to see you. Good to see you. It's been ages. I need to stop by in one of those CEO meetup um, with you guys. So so that's why today I'm thinking about really those things. Sometimes it's like we start doing those amazing things and then we stop. Then we back. Then we stop. And so to have more, there are certain things I'm going to have to start being more of in order to even declare and affirm and expecting and to have a life where more is just naturally happening more is just flowing right and so that's part of that joy abundance that needs to happen and so today the inspiration hit but there'll be another day where i'm not going to be inspired and i still have to show up no matter what and so this is the beginning a little bit every day so this is going to be a quick one of popping in and then bringing others who may want to share and there are days where it's just going to be me but the question is do you want more So you can answer that, Alicia. Do you want more? Do you want more for yourself? Do you want more for uh, those around you? Right? And so I know many people now, they're thinking we are halfway through the year. At the beginning of the year, we had so much, right? Those vision boards were being created. It was packed with things that we wanted to accomplish for the year. And just really setting our intention and making sure that our vision was very clear. And now, six months into the year, right? And so really thinking about how do we want the rest of the season to be. And so for me, it's going to have to be taking stock of what has already happened, what I'm willing to do to ensure that what I'm envisioning, what I'm dreaming about, what I am being intentional about doing. And I think a big part of that is who am I surrounding myself with where this wanting more is not going to be an opposition. But either way. I'm still going to be expecting, I'm still going to be affirming, and I'm still going to be declaring it, right? And so part of that is really thinking, how do I make sure this is part of everything? And I can't be doing it behind closed doors, which means I got to show up. I can't be playing small. I can't keep doing what I've always done. So if you're watching this, whether you're live or on the replay, let me know in the comments, what do you want more of? Or even answer the question, do you want more? Do you want more wow? Do you want What is it? And be clear about what that is. It could be one thing, but you know yourself well enough to be able to claim it, declare it, or even reclaim it if at one point you were, you had it. So this is the day I'm starting today. Start now, right? It's never too late to just start now. And so this is where we at. And so I will be popping back to do more. There's a lot happening this month, this week even. And so I'll be sharing more. There's so many exciting events, so many partnerships, so many new 
businesses. I'm loving our tribe is really growing in terms of really meeting people who are so hungry for more, who are aiming for more, dreaming bigger. And one of the things we are no longer doing that's a non-negotiable is playing small, is putting ourselves last, right? To do and be all the things we're saying we want more of and to be able to receive more, we have to be open, open to receive more. And so we start today and you can start now. So I look forward to reading your comments. I will see you again. And keep that question on a daily basis. Keep that in your mind. Have that self-talk. You want more and be clear about what that is. But for now, repeat after me. I am worthy of more. And that is enough. So I will see you next time. I'll be checking those comments. All right. And so tell me more. I can't wait to read them. We want more. We're going to get more, 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 more. All right. So the inspiration is really important. So as I was listening to D. Tiffany Largy sharing about wanting more, so I was thinking about one experience that I've had, right? So I had a reservation. I was traveling to a hotel, and I wanted this view, this beautiful water view. I get there. I had to kill time all day long because check-in is at 4. I get there, and they were like, we only have a room facing inside. I was just like, mm -mm, no, no, no. I've been dreaming, imagining, envisioning this beautiful view, looking at the river and everything. And so for me, usually I'm like, okay, I'll just take whatever. And I'm starting to realize when you settle, when you start tolerating whatever is given to you because it's convenient. Uh, Tiffany talked about these two cream, creamery or whatever that was on her desk about that's what's there. So you just take whatever is available. And I'm at a point where now I'm like, mm, no. I cannot just be accepting what's available because all that is going to trickle in other aspects of my life where I'm just settling for less, settling for whatever's there. Settling because that's the thing everybody's having, right? And so for me, they were like, you would have to wait. I'm like, okay, I'll wait. That day, for some reason, I'm like, I'm going to get what I expected. This is the room that I booked. This is what I want to have. And that was my version of more, to be able to ask for it expect to receive it and in the end i got it beautiful room okay 17th floor just looking at the river as i have expected been dreaming about and so for me there was a time i would have just accepted take whatever room is available and then pretend that was enough pretend that that was okay with me and so for me those things are no longer acceptable i would no longer be negotiating what I expect, right? And so for me, I have to start doing those things for myself in order to even think other people are just going to be able to to provide them. So in a way, it's treat, showing people how you want to be treated, but it's still with how I'm treating myself, right? Am I affirming me? Am I doing what I said I'm going to do for myself? And so a lot of time we expect that from other people, but for that to even become a habit where we can ask for it, expect it, receive it, and repeat and be able to do that. And so this is interesting revelation, but it's also being aware of so many things that we've been just tolerating and accepting as okay because it could be that's how we grew up. That's how we just we don't wanna, you know, raise any you know, we just wanna be that person who just doesn't, you know, create any trouble, whatever that is. And so for me, that stuff there. And that was not a major request, right? And so for me, it's just continuing to do that and to really think about how am I affirming me? How am I putting myself first? And I'm always telling other people to do that. And so I got to practice what I teach, practice what I coach, practice what I expect this life to be. And so that's becoming part of my wow in terms of I expect certain experiences. And so for me, when I settle, I'm literally dishonoring myself. And putting myself last and saying what you want doesn't matter. What you want can take a back seat. And other people's stuff or want or demands come first, right? And so that's a way for me to make sure this doesn't trickle into my business and other aspects of my life. Because, as you know, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. And so I'm hoping this will set, will set 
the tone and the pattern for the life that I want, but also start creating the wild life that I deserve, that I'm worthy of, and eventually I will have. Start now. <laughs> it start today. And so let me know if you, what do you think about this? The idea of wanting more, claiming it, affirming it, but ultimately declare it and expect for that to be 